All right, some new developments tonight. Port Arthur City leaders made good on a district court order. Today they started tearing down a homeless camp at the site of the old Howard's grocery store on 9th Avenue. This morning, people living there were gone and 12 News caught video of bulldozers clearing out the homeless person's tents. 12 News reporter Christiana Ramos is live tonight in Port Arthur finding out what's next for these residents. Jordan, it's been a battle for months between the city of Port Arthur and the people in these encampments. Just moments ago, the city was still out here with bulldozers clearing out some of uh, those tents. We're seeing piles and that trash nearly gone. They have left behind a nearly empty lot. Now, we spoke to people who lived here a few weeks ago, and many of them say they plan to come right back to this property. Why? They say they have nowhere else to go. But returning here could mean some big trouble. The mayor has vowed to pursue trespassing charges back in April. Mayor Thurman Barty promised the city would provide some alternative housing options. So we looked into it and found Port City Rescue Mission, a nonprofit organization who's been serving the homeless community in Port Arthur for nearly three decades. A lot of people not coming to the shelter because they don't want to follow the rules and regulations. It's not that we don't have nowhere to house them. We get housed at least 30 men upstairs in this unit and at least 25 women in this unit. Port City's rescue mission has furnished rooms, bathrooms, kitchens, and laundry rooms. They have a separate three-story unit that can house families. They have apartment complexes and units for those who have felony charges and can't find a place to live. All residents need is identification, and if they don't have it, the case managers will help. Now, there are some rules to live at these facilities. All residents must be sober while living here, and they must be actively seeking work. 